What's the story, Morning Glory? What is the word, Hummingbird? Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and joining me for this quick conversation about David and Leslie Bador. As we all know, David Bador, who was the ex, who is, thank God, is the ex-husband of Real Housewives of OC fame, Shannon Bador. Um, he has recently filed for a divorce. He is the petitioner. He is the one that filed. He filed for a divorce um, for, to his currently estranged wife, Leslie Bador. Unfortunately, these two people have a daughter together. They've been married less than two years. I think they said exactly 23 months or something. This marriage lasted. Um, and so he is also seeking full custody of their daughter. Now, when it comes to the property, marital assets, the article says here that as far as as, uh, as for the property, the pair split their time between Orange County and Montana, where they also have a home. However, the full nature and extent of petitioner, David Bador, uh, of petitioner's separate property is to be determined at time of trial or settlement. Given the very short term marriage, there are nominal community property assets and debts. There is a prenuptial agreement effective October 9th, 2020 that does control. So there is a prenuptial agreement. So unfortunately, Leslie Bador is probably going to walk away with uh, next to nothing. And David is also seeking um He's seeking joint, I'm sorry, not full custody. He's seeking joint physical and legal custody of their daughter. So David Bador is in court again, hopefully not fighting over property and assets and um, alimony. But as much time as David Bador spends in court, he should have gotten a law degree. He probably knows the law well enough right now that he can probably take the bar and pass it because he's in court quite a bit. I don't understand. This is OK. Like I said, I have said this before. There is a content creator by the name of Erica De Niro TV. I think that is the name of her channel. And she always talks about uh, when women choose men who they already know the Yelp review for that said man. So in other words, women will still decide to be with someone who clearly, you know, the woman before them had major problems with, but the new woman decides to completely ignore the problems and issues that the ex-wife or the ex-girlfriend had with same said man, that they want to throw caution to the wind. And they think that it was either her problem or she can fix him or whatever issues they had, she's not going to have with him now. And Leslie Bedore did not read the Yelp reviews. I am not trying to steal this idea from Erica De Niro TV. I'm just paying homage to the great, the illustrious Erica De Niro, Erica De Niro um, and using um, the lessons that she has taught us to read the Yelp reviews and to pay attention to what this, what the woman before you had gone through. So this marriage lasted not even two years, but unfortunately there's a little child involved that's going to be split between these two parents. And that doesn't mean that this child is destined to be doomed or it's going to have a negative life or anything like that. But hell, it would have been a lot better if the child didn't have to be shuffled between two homes. So David Bredore, I mean, I don't know what to say. The guy was kind of weird and strange when we saw him on The Real Housewives of the O.C., but then again, Shannon was also kind of weird and strange as well. Sometimes, you know, I kind of wonder if maybe, but she's a lot more normal now. She's a whole lot more normal. And she's obviously, it seems like a whole lot happier. And she's with someone, I think his, his name is John, her current boyfriend. She's with someone who I think really makes her happy because, you know, David just, he was, he was a strange fella. He was a really strange fella, but he's headed to divorce court again. And, um, it's only sad because of the fact that there's a child involved, but that marriage, you know, I guess I don't have no idea. It was surrounded with so much controversy. Um, was it doomed to fail? I have no idea. Uh, so I wonder how Shannon feels about this. Uh, if she even gives a damn, she probably doesn't even care because she's moved on to bigger and better things. She's a whole lot happier. She's a whole lot more successful. And so um, this has got nothing to do with her, but good luck to David. Good luck to Leslie. And um, hopefully everything works out for the best uh, for the sake of their daughter. Moving on. There's something else that I wanted to talk about. So in this, I, I came across another article and it was so bizarre to me. 
there's, I don't even know who this person is. John Boyega. I think he's an actor. I think John Boyega is an actor. Yes, he's an actor. 30 years old. He was in Star Wars. Um, What else was he in? I don't know, but British GQ did an interview with this guy, this John Boyega guy, and the title of the article was so bizarre. The title of this article, not the title of the GQ article, but the title of the article on people.com says John Boyega says he only dates black women, reveals what he's looking for in a partner. Why is that news that John Boyega only dates black women? women and he himself is a black man in fact let me show you a picture of him now i don't have any high tech uh editing equipment so i can't edit it in so i'm going to do the bootleg version and just hold it up to this camera right here this is mr john boyega and this is the title of said article um it's completely whited out you can't see it but yeah it says something about him um he only is dating black women he, he only wants to date black women but he's a black man so is it that bad out there now that, you know, with, um, with, with our community, is it so bad now where we are not dating one another anymore that when a black male actor says he's going to d- date black women, it's like news, it's newsworthy now, it's front page news. I was so confused. Why is that newsworthy? Am I missing something? Do y'all know who he is? Can someone please school me on why this would be news? Was he not dating black women before? Was he not dating women at all before? Is that why it's a big deal that he's dating black women now? And it says here, they quote him as saying, I only date black women. He says, it's about chemistry, personality, goals. Is there a synergy? Can I help you? Can you help me? I'm very disciplined in the type of women I speak to. They don't want you in their business. I don't know what that means. So I don't, I didn't understand why that was news, who he dated and the fact that he only dates black women. I'm, that's, I have nothing else to say about John Boyega other than that, because I don't know who he is. I don't know what his history is, but that's really all I had to say about that. It's like, why is that news? <laughs> why is that news? <laughs> I didn't get it. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. On your way out, please do not forget to rate the video. And if you like this content, please subscribe. And I will definitely talk to you later. Bye.